we just moved to Madrid. And what better way to get to know a city than to visit? And what better way to get to know a city than to visit? It's Words Rated Hotel. We're about to check in at the Anaco Hotel, the worst rated hotel in Madrid, Spain, with reviews like Hotel of Horrors, Disgusting, Embarrassing, and should be booked as a last resort. Before the day ends, we must decide if the hotel is tolerable enough for us to stay or so unbearable we'll have to bail. Let's start with the exterior. This mural was painted in the 80s and I'm no expert, but I think it needs an extra layer of paint. As you can see, also, this plaza right next to the hotel is under construction. Hopefully it's not too noisy in the room. Location-wise, the hotel is really well situated because it's right in the middle of the downtown Madrid. We're right by Sol, which is extremely popular for tourists. Most of the buildings around the hotel are really pretty and you can see there's some upscale restaurants and hotels here. So let's see why the Anaco is so poorly rated. Let's go inside. The front of the hotel does not look very inviting. Let's see if the inside is any different. Sí, correcto. Okay. Fourth floor. Yeah. We just got to our floor. It's green. Uh, the check-in process was really smooth. It was very easy. Uh, very old school. He didn't use a computer. He just had like a notebook with all the names and the, the rooms in that notebook and that's how they found us. Also, he, they don't use a pen. They use a pencil, which is odd. So now we're going to find our room. The halls are interesting, green, and I've been wanting to stay. Oh, hold on. Which, oh, it's 41. I've been wanting to stay in one of these old hotels for a very long time. And oh, this is our room. And this is going to be a very interesting experience. Welcome to our room. Oh, ooh, okay. It's green. We'll decide if we stay the night or not based mainly on the condition of the room. We're not here to trash this hotel. We're just curious about why it has such bad reviews and whether they're true or not. And if you clicked on this video, so are you. Before we examine the room, let's read some of the worst reviews the hotel has to learn what to keep an eye out for. For example, Rafaela wrote, the furniture seemed to be from an old hospital. We didn't fit in the bed, so we stay with our feet outside. When I woke up, I had my shoes full of ants and we went for a shower and there was only cold water. Sylvia wrote, mold in the bathroom. There was no hot water. No hot water seems to be a recurring issue. The funny thing is that we just spent one week showering with cold water at our new home because we were waiting for the gas to be installed. And yesterday we got hot water and are not looking forward to shower with cold water anytime soon. Finally, Sandra wrote, as soon as you enter through the door, you notice a smell of pee and humidity. The bedspreads were full of stains as if they had not been washed. That's a good place to start. The room thankfully smells clean, so no pee or humidity smell, which of course we would hate. At first glance, the room looks decent. I mean, it looks really dated. It's very green. I mean, green, 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 green everywhere, as in the hallway. But the room seems okay. That's a good way to put it. We'll examine the bed closer in a little bit, but the drapes don't seem to have stains on them. They do have some rips here. 
and the thicker ones, the blackouts, look clean to be honest. I was expecting worse. They do have some paint stains here and uh, well, the night lamp looks, what is that? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know from <laughs> what year. There was a review that said that it had like hospital furniture. This would be like yeah. psychiatric hospital from a horror movie, I think. That's very accurate, actually. It's pretty confusing. Does it work? Let me uh, see. I don't know. I think there's only one lamp. Or does it turn on? Well, the <laughs> wires here are taped together, which is an electrical hazard. And I'm not sure how to turn it on. I don't see any <laughs> buttons. It's not touch. Oh, here it is. Well, it doesn't work. Aww. Maybe shame. we can make it work later. Let's see, the headboard is seems like PVC or maybe some wood. I don't know. The windows are, I see they're double, but we could hear a lot of the people talking on the streets yeah. and the hallway. It was really loud inside the room. So I would guess at night to sleep, that would be an issue. I can see the, the cars. The, the and view the car is homes. nice though. Yeah. yeah, it's very Madrid. The building in front is pretty nice. So mm -hmm. even though this building is, doesn't look as nice from the outside, that one, which is our view, is nice. So that's a plus for us. Let's see, the walls do have some stains yeah. on them. The, wa the wallpaper is weird. It's very strange. Yeah, it's, I don't know if it's a wallpaper, it's like... Yeah, I think it is. It's, it's like a, 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 I don't know, I'm not sure. It's not a classic wallpaper. I don't know if it's paint. But the the texture a, is too perfect to be painting. It does have some stains on them. I mean, that color green, it looks like baby pee or something like that. It's not my favorite. The hotel was built, I think, in 1962. You told me, right? Yeah, but it was renovated in 2002. Yeah, so... Well, that was 22 years but ago. But this style seems to be from the 1960 original design or something. The lamp has some stains here. It does work. There are no bulbs or light sources on the ceiling. So this would be the only light source given that the night light doesn't work. We do have another one here. Why is it so hard to figure out? Here it is doesn't work either. So pretty much our only light would be that lamp. This chair reminds me of my grandmother. May she rest in peace. It does look like something you would find in a hospital room yeah, for the it's very for ugly. the next of kin. It's really stained. I mean, I was sitting in it later uh, earlier and it was really comfortable, really soft, but it's really stained and dirty. I bet I bet inviting. you didn't notice it was stained before you you sat down. <laughs> I did, but oh, you did. Yeah, oh but I mean. I've sat in the subway in New York City and it can't be worse than that, right? <laughs> I hope. Um, uh, here is a workstation. This chair is, it looks really dirty. It's not as dated as this one, but I don't know if it's the color gray or what, but it does look dirtier. The TV, really small. Well, I thought it was a, a computer monitor. Well, it could double as that. <laughs> it's really small. It's really wobbly. It doesn't fall down, but I'm not going to do it anymore. Let's see if it works. Does work. Does it have a signal? It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, it's really slow. Oh, someone left their prime logged oh, in. Oh my God. Pro tip, don't leave anything logged in in a hotel or you will spend eternity like that. The desk itself is... It's okay. Yeah. yeah, it does have some wear marks like here. The paint is lifted. We have two night tables, one on that side of the bed and one on this one. It has a phone. Does it work? No, it looks somewhat dirty. I don't want to touch it anymore. We do have some light switches here. Oh, it turned that lamp on. Yeah. I'm wondering if I can turn this lamp on then. Okay, it's You off. say you were going to fix it. Nope, no luck. But it does. Turn on and off. Well, at least we one. have two light sources, right? We do have a paper bin. It does have some rubbish in it, but it's paper, so it's not nasty. The trash can is actually quite nice. Yeah, it's pretty. It's maybe the nicest thing in the room. <laughs> I would say the floor is really nice. It's yeah. wood. It's in pretty good condition, actually. Looks yeah, I like pretty it. new. This small closet. Well, it's decent. You have some hangers, a heavy blanket. I, I wouldn't use it. I never use heavy blankets at hotels unless they're like really expensive hotels that I'm pretty certain they wash them because I know it's it must be pretty difficult to wash a heavy yeah. blanket. Another heavy blanket. It's really big, actually. Oh, well, I wouldn't touch it. Well, I that's what this review is for. And there is a safe. Come look at this. It looks really old. We yeah. don't have this key. Yeah, what they is the key? They didn't give us a key at the front desk, so... That's probably an extra charge for it. Yeah, drawers, oh, 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for one of these worst hotels series videos if we paid like $50 for this room exactly it would be okay but we paid I think 272 euros no no 200, 207 euros 207 per it's night it's still a lot yeah, yeah. without for breakfast one night, included no breakfast so seeing the condition of the room it's yeah pretty steep that price is a lot whoa what is Look that? Look at the air conditioning controller. I think it we stayed really at an Airbnb with those controllers once here in Madrid when we first arrived. Well, it works. Let's see if it cools down. But let's turn it off for now so the audio doesn't get ruined. We'll get back to this later. The bathroom, well, it's really small. The choice of tiles is not my favorite because the floor looks to be like dirty and it's not a feeling you want in a bathroom. There's a toilet here. Really small room. Okay, this I don't like. You can see this is, well, actually it yeah. is new. Well, nice. I thought but they were used from the previous guests well, the, because the hotels sometimes The quantity is very, very Yeah, it's really thing. small, that's why it fooled me, but they're new, so. Props to them. Yes. The <laughs> toilet has the seal, but it has been clean. It does look fairly new, in good condition. Mm -hmm. Looks clean, so that's good. We do have a bidet. Yeah, a bidet, which you can find in many places around Spain. Yeah, that's... We won't be using that, <laughs> but it does look new. The faucet looks pretty new. This I don't like. This look like an airplane sink, mm -hmm. good water pressure. But this looks, I don't know, I, I really don't like it. It doesn't look hygienic. Mm -hmm. or... That's true. Ah, I don't know. Now, what the hell is this? I don't have... Oh! <laughs> it's a hair dryer. From Mad Max. It's a blow dryer, but from like 1920 or something. It's well, really old. Well, the hotel odd. is really old. So. Yes, but this, I think, predates even. See, this was here and then we the hotel around it. Some toiletries, body lotion, bath gel, and shampoo. Nice. Oh, pretty nice. Small basket here. Looks quite old and dirty. These are the food towels, I believe. Well, they're clean. Yeah. They don't have any stains on them. I've stayed in resorts that have worse towels than this. These are perfect, right? Mm hmm The bathroom, other than the tile and the uh, bath century blow dryer and the sink, it's pretty nice. I show us the shower. Do we have more lighting here? Oh. No? No, That's we don't. That okay, is so it. this light bulb doesn't work. Mm -hmm. And the shower is really dark without it. I don't know if you can see how dark it is. Yeah. I okay. Can. This I'm not a fan of. These grouts look to be moldy. Well, there know. was one review. I don't know if they're moldy. Do you have your cell phone on you? There was one review that said that there was mold okay. in the bathroom. Let's see if it's mold. Or yeah, if it it's is. Dirt. It, it is. Looks, yeah, it, it looks moldy. The top itself, it's it's in pretty good condition. Yeah, it's clean. The faucet looks a bit dirty, to be honest. The air duct has dust in it. So the bathroom, in general, it's decent, but I'm not a fan. To be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it was based on the reviews, but let's examine the bed closer. That sound, <laughs> I don't like that sound on a bed. It sounds uncomfortable. If you can see down here, yeah. it's on wheels. Oh. I read that on some reviews. So I'm guessing it it's moves. pretty unstable. Yeah, if you move at night, well, look how easy oh it is to move. My God. I'm using one finger and I can move the bed. <laughs> so if you roll over at night, it will move. This, we hate. This looks really dirty. Looks like a tablecloth. Hotels room tend to use it on top of beds. I'm willing to bet thousands of dollars that this doesn't get washed between uh, guests. So the first thing we do when we get to a hotel room is get rid of that on top of the bed. The sheets look clean, but I already found a hair. It's a really yeah, long hair. Yeah, I saw hair. a couple. It's a really long hair. Oh. I don't know if you can see it here. Oh God. That's not good. I mean, it's rough and I guess it could catch hairs more than a uh, smooth blanket, but come on. I mean, I'm, I'm already scratching. I've been reading a lot about bed bugs, so I'm going to examine the mattress really closely. We do have... The pillows look okay. Well, these are square. I'm not a fan of that. But they, they do look clean. They look comfortable. And clean. They look clean. No stains in them. Well, you found there's a, a white long hair on that one as well. Let's see. Where, where? 
here. Oh, I saw it. Ugh. The long pillow does have some, I don't know if there's stains or dust. Let me do the smell test. It smells clean. It smells like it's been washed. What I'm about to do now, I never do. I never look at a hotel mattress because that's looking for trouble, right? You did that once, uh, not, in, not on purpose, in a capsule hotel, you yeah, remember? Yeah, um, I was frustrated with what I saw. It has a mattress cover. Okay. That's good. I'm not seeing any bed bugs, so we're clear, right? So that's a good sign. It does have some stains, but it's a mattress cover. That's what it's for. Well, the mattress it looks quite, clean yeah. and looks new. Mm -hmm. I'm not finding anything I shouldn't see. I read you have to look in the crevices, to be honest. This is cleaner than mattresses I've owned, so... <laughs> The smell doesn't smell like so anything. So it passed the I would the say, I mean, I would, the... I'm gonna look for some more. It does have some minor stains, but that's it. We stayed in over 30 hotel rooms in our life, and this is the first time we see this. Now let's explore the rest of the hotel. Afterward, we'll come back to the room and tell you what we decide. We will stay or bail. We're staying in floor number four. As you can see, it's completely green. I read on one of the reviews that each floor has its own color and decoration. Leave it in the comments which one is your favorite. If you're liking this video, subscribe to our channel. Floor number six. Yeah. Ooh, stripes. There are stripes and the carpet is red. Oh, but this paper, this wallpaper is really nice, and the wall, the doors are gray. Yeah, I like it. Fifth floor is red, pink. Well, I'm yeah, red. with red doors and pink, like the shining. Yeah, I like this one. It looks like <laughs> Miami in the eighties. Oh, the same. Yeah, that's disappointing. Oh, I thought it was going to be different. Let's go to another floor. Green. Oh, look. There's moisture. Yeah. Okay, but this is green as the same as our floor, so... Someone asked for Let's it. take the stairs. Yeah, let's go. That gives us an opportunity to see the stairs. I like that material, though. It's like marble. I like it. This is for safety reasons. And... This is first floor. Yeah, first floor is pink with red and splashes of moisture. So, yeah. Okay, let's see the reception and the ground floor. Oh, let's use the stir. This is a really cool chair. And this one too. Beautiful view just outside our door. Yeah, well, it's very convenient to have a trash area outside your room. As you can see, there's not much to the hotel other than the room, uh, different decorated uh, floors. <laughs> there's no restaurant. The breakfast is, a, but, they give you a ticket and you go have breakfast at a nearby cafeteria. Oh, really? Yes. I, I thought that. there was, a, I read like cafeteria somewhere. No, we didn't oh, see anything God. right now. We, we just were walking yeah, around we the hotel and we didn't see hotel. anything else. So moment of truth. Will we stay? Or will we bail? We decided to bail. The room was decent enough for us to spend the night, but we left the AC on while we went out for a couple of hours and the room did not cool down at all and that is a deal breaker. We just picked up dinner 
and we're heading home to enjoy it. Please subscribe if you like this video.